Dear friends, greetings of the day. Myself, Dr. Raju R. Vadekar, Assistant Professor, Sri Vile Parle Kelwani Mandals Institute of Pharmacy, Dhule. Dear friends, today we will discuss and study in the course Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry 2, Unit 1, Metabolic Pathways in Higher Plants and the Determination. Disclaimer, this presentation is meant for educational purpose only. The content of the presentation is taken from e-sources as well as from author's learning experience and subject knowledge. The course content Metabolic Pathways in Higher Plants and the Determination It consists of two parts. A part, Brief Study of Basic Metabolic Pathways and Formation of Different Secondary Metabolites through these pathways. Wherein, we are going to study Shikimic Acid Pathway, Amino Acid Pathway, and acetate pathway. The B part comprises of study of utilization of radioactive isotopes in the investigation of biogenetic studies. Dear friends, this unit 1 metabolic pathways in higher plants and determination we are going to study in lecture series format. So this whole unit 1 is compressed it consists of five different lectures. Number 1 in lecture number 1 First of all, we will study about the metabolic pathways. We will, I will introduce you what are, what do we mean by the primary metabolite and secondary metabolites and how plant undergoes various metabolic pathways for the biosynthesis of primary and secondary metabolites. Thereafter, we will study in lecture 2, study of basic metabolic pathways and formation of different secondary metabolites through shikimic acid pathway. Same way, we are also going to study in lecture 3, study of basic metabolic pathways and formation of different secondary metabolites through amino acid pathway. In lecture 4, in detail we will study about basic metabolic pathways and formation of different secondary metabolites through acetate pathway. And lastly, we will study in detail utilization of radioactive isotopes in the investigation of biogenetic studies through this lecture series. So, let's get started friends. The objective of the unit 1 metabolic pathways in higher plants and det determination is that the learner students after studying this whole unit 1 will able to understand the process of biosynthesis of primary and secondary metabolites in plants. Student will also know the study of and the role of primary metabolites in plants. Students will understand the importance of in secondary metabolites in plants and animals. We will also study the basic metabolic pathways involved in biosynthesis of secondary metabolites. As also, we will understand and acquire the knowledge of various methods in detail for the determination of plant bi biosynthetic pathways with specific reference to radioactive isotopes. <coughs> Introduction Dear friends, plants by the virtue of its autotrophic nature, it produces its own food through the process called photosynthesis wherein plants synthesize several primary metabolites such as carbohydrates, proteins, amino acids, fatty acids, enzymes, antibiotics, etc. for its overall growth and development. Nevertheless, subsequently, the primary metabolites via enzyme-mediated chemical reactions yield secondary metabolites of several different chemical class of organic compounds such as alkaloids, glycosides, steroids, tannins, Flavonoids and etc. So, dear friends, plants by its virtue of its nature that is autotropic, it produces primary metabolite for its overall growth and development via photosynthesis process. And this whole process carried out in various parts of plant, in cytosol, in plastids, and various cellular plants of the part of the plant. And how did they are producing this primary and secondary metabolite that we are going to study in detail. The general process of biosynthetic pathway or metabolic process in the plants, it started or the genesis or in vitro synthesis of both primary and secondary metabolites starts with photosynthesis to produce sugar molecule which is an energy molecule which are metabolized further to glycerates, pyruvates and finally acetyl-CoA which will yield ATP molecules. This acetyl-CoA is used in tricarboxylic acid cycle to generate a number of amino acids and excess is to synthesize fatty acids. So, these amino acids which are the main intermediate compound of primary metabolite product which further 
being uh, uh, becomes a first precursor for the biosynthesis of secondary metabolite like alkaloids glycosides steroids etc a few of the acetyl coa molecule acetyl coa coa means coenzyme a molecules are condensed to form mevalonic acid precursor of synthesis of steroid that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and erythrose 4 phosphate from pentose phosphate pathway yields shikimic acid dear friends glucose when undergoes metabolism it it processes three different pathways at a time simultaneously that is shikimic acid pathway acetate pathway as well as amino acid pathway so in the very first pathway this acetyl coa will form and which further goes in tricarboxylic acid cycle to yield various fatty acids and amino acids as well as this acetyl coa further gives condensed to form mevalonic acid to give rise to formation of steroids like cholesterol and the part of glucose metabolism that is pentose pyrophosphate pathway yields erythrophore phosphate from pentose phosphate pathway yields shikimic acid which is the main precursor for the biosynthesis of important aromatic amino acids and aromatic chemicals secondary metabolites such as alkaloids phenylpropanoids lignins lignans flavonoids and terpenoids etc dear friends please observe this figure this flow chart very carefully now we can see here the photosynthesis is taking place in the cytosol of the plant cell then glucose is formed and when this glucose undergoes various metabolic pathways or glycolysis it yields basic components called as shikimic acid amino acid and acetate pathways or acetate molecule now first we will study about shikimic acid pathway in lecture 2 but for the time being you first understand these three basic pathways how they undergo various metabolic process so when glucose undergoes glucose is nothing but a primary metabolite which undergoes further through glycolysis it forms shikimic acid via pentose phosphate and four erythro four phosphate and then this pentose phosphate four erythro phosphate when they condense together they form shikimate okay, which is a intermediate compound and then this shikimate give rise to formation of corisnate my dear friends please note that these all pathways are been processed through enzyme mediated chemical reactions only so n number of enzymes like transferase lyases mutase synthase uh, aldoses n number of enzymes are uh, catalyzing these reactions and thereby we, uh, the plant can able to synthesize this type of compounds then corisnate give rise to formation of tyrosine tryptophan and phenylalanine which are the three basic aromatic amino acids which are still they are the primary metabolites similarly amino acid pathway yields pyruvate tri and oxaloacetate ketoglutarate which further gives this amino acids aliphatic amino acids on the other hand acetate pathway gives rise to formation of pyruvate acetyl coa malonyl coa and fatty acids introduction to primary metabolites so what are primary metabolites primary metabolite comprise many different types of organic compounds including but not limited to carbohydrate lipids proteins and nucleic acid but also there are the components or products of fundamental metabolic pathways or cycles such as glycolysis the krebs cycle and the kelvin cycle example of primary metabolite include energy rich fuel molecules such as sucrose and starch they are synthesized and then stored in various organs of the plant like tubers roots stem bark fruit etc structural components such as cellulose information molecules such as dna rna and pigments are also a part of primary metabolites in addition to having fundamental roles in plant growth and development some primary metabolites are big, big, being a, they be a precursor important precursor or starting material for the synthesis of secondary metabolites whereas secondary metabolites have biological properties primary metabolites they only act as a source of energy for the overall growth and development of the plant cells whereas secondary metabolites have biological properties and they are characterized by their different uses and applications as medicine insecticide herbicide perfumes and so on the biosynthesis of secondary metabolite is usually restricted to specific stages of plant development means whenever the plant in a starting growth phase or a complete growth then only this plant produces the secondary metabolites okay 
so plant at the in its initial stage of growing you will not synthesize secondary metabolite it will synthesize only primary metabolite but after one year of its growth two years of its growth it will start synthesizing secondary metabolite subsequently that is why it is said that specific stage of plant development and periods of stress many many thousands of secondary metabolites have been isolated from plants and many of them have powerful physiological effect in humans and are used as medicine for example rolfia is a plant which we call it as sarpagandha so in rolfia it biosynthesizes primary metabolites such as tryptophan which is an aromatic amino acid but this tryptophan amino acid undergoes various biosynthetic pathways or its metabolism which is the formation of secondary metabolite in this plant called as reserpin which is an indol alkaloid you can see this indol ring structure and now this reserpin act as an anti hypertensive drug okay so this anti hypertensive drug activity is more associated with the secondary metabolite rather than the primary metabolite that is tryptophan summary of this first lecture is plants is solar powered biochemical laboratory which synthesizes both primary and secondary metabolites the primary metabolites are biosynthesized through photosynthesis process the primary metabolites are utilized for overall growth and development of plant cells by the release of energy molecules subsequently the metabolite or primary metabolism serve as precursor for the biosynthesis of secondary metabolites in the plant cells the secondary metabolites biosynthesizes via enzyme mediated chemical reactions only biosynthesized secondary metabolites are useful in plants for defense pollination etc purpose whereas the secondary metabolites play significant pharmacological activity in human subjects for the treatment of several illness thus it is important to study basic metabolism pathways in plants and the methods for its determination dear students and dear dear friends these primary metabolites which are biosynthesized via photosynthesis are equally important for plants as well as for animals that's why many herbivorous plants or very uh, plants or animals they when feed or uh, these plants they get proteins they get fats they get carbohydrates but some plants are there which not only biosynthesize primary metabolite but also this primary metabolite when get biosynthesized or when get metabolized that is secondary metabolites references these are the some references which i have quoted and from which i have taken the whole content for this lecture my dear friends please refer lecture number 2 or like that is as i have uh, told you in previous slide that this unit 1 we are going to complete uh, we are going to study in lecture series format so please study lecture 2 please listen lecture 2 carefully in which the topic we are going to cover that is basic metabolic pathways and formation of different secondary metabolites through this pathways such as shikimic acid pathway so in lecture 2 i will discuss and i will and we will study in detail shikimic acid pathway thank you very much